Emporium was founded in 1991 and now has six shops in Sao Paulo with more than 600 people working in them. They geographically locate the shops in neighborhoods with high average household income as they adapt higher prices than your average supermarket. In the shops they have teams specialized in fish, wine and meat who can give recommendations and help and furthermore there is a bakery and a rotisserie with a chef who prepares fresh dishes. They offer products from the best brands and their own line of products. All in all a premium supermarket with a focus on consumer experience. They ensure the quality of their products and the services, better customer experience over traditional grocery stores, a wide range of product offerings, an upmarket look and atmosphere, and an accessible parking lot. In each segmentation, Emporium San Paulo can reach different types of segments. According to the Music of Brazil, Emporium San Paulo can reach segment A, B, E, F, and G which are Brazilian elites, experienced urban adults with a comfortable living, established urban adults, older generations and business owners. Among these segments, Emporium São Paulo decided to target upper to middle and middle class individuals that give a higher importance to quality over value. And Emporium São Paulo positioned itself as a premium supermarket with a focus on consumer experience that offers services and products with high quality. To tie in consumer decision making with the interviews we did, we decided to create three personas that would represent different segments of consumers that actually frequent in Porto São Paulo. The first one we named Lavinia Pereira. She's a 44 years old married housewife, mother of two grown children. She's the definition of a loyal consumer for Porto São Paulo. She loves the quality of the products and gives little regard to budget issues. We have traced her consumer journey, including both the decision making and the experience cycle. The first stage is problem recognition. It is something as simple as realizing her fridge looks quite empty, since food is such a basic need. Second is information searching. As a loyal consumer of Emporium, it is already so well positioned in her mind, this, is, this gets pretty trivial. Third is evaluating the alternatives. She must decide whether to go to Emporium São Paulo or try to something new, and when it comes as a surprise, she won't change her habits. Fourth is purchase. Herein lies her consumer experience cycle. Uh, doing this will solve her problem, leading us to the final stage, post-purchase. Uh, Lavinia came with very well-formed expectations. I know they will be fulfilled unless something drastically changed since the last time she was there. The second person is Felipe Corigliano. As you can see, we also trace her consumer decision-making process and it is centered on the fact she's the kind of consumer that frequents in Porto São Paulo only on special occasions. She's a 43 years old mother of four young children. Her family is of middle class and budget is definitely a big issue informing her decision-making. Filipa does not do groceries on in Porto São Paulo. Instead, she goes there to treat herself to some sashimi Luciano, the chef she knows by name, makes. It is a break from the stress of daily life. And it stands out that she finds solace in a would-be supermarket because of the amenities it offers. What do you like to eat here? Here there is something very interesting that we choose the fish. So we choose the salmon and Luciano, who is the one who cuts the fish, cut all the salmon and we ate the sashimi. Our third persona is Joanna Torres. Like the two before, we have traced the decision-making process to better understand her segment. Joanna represents the middle upper class family of two working parents. She has one small children, but an nanny usually stays with him by the day. Joanna frequents Emporium São Paulo to buy special items she does not usually find at Ponte Super. Plus, since Emporium São Paulo is on the way from her work to her home, she does little store runs, such as buying milk when she has just run out of. The biggest driver for Joanna is convenience. Uh, but the expensive prices stop Emporium São Paulo from being the source of the monthly groceries. E o que você mais gosta daqui então? Estacionamento. Estacionamento, que é bem fácil acesso. E... Segurança e o ambiente é bom assim. Tá. Emporium uses sensory exposure to make consumers unconsciously buy more. Indeed, they use silent stimuli by grouping the fruits and vegetables and using intense lights. They also use smells in the bakery corner and increase vividness of the products in the wine section. 
Emporium creates a nice atmosphere which favorizes the act of purchasing. Indeed, the quality of the products, the different corners, make it a nice place to spend time. The place is well laid out, not too big, not too small, and you always feel comfortable even during the peak hours. The staff is very friendly and helpful, and by giving personal recommendations, the consumer feel privileged and definitely buy more. As it stands, we couldn't find significant unique sales propositions for Emporium Sao Paulo. They don't have anything that differentiates them that much from the competition in upper class supermarkets. After research on consumer lifestyle trends in Brazil, we saw that overall retail spending is declining, but online spending has drastically increased. This growth is driven in large part by the significant increase in the number of consumers shopping with their mobile devices. Therefore, our recommendation to Emporium Sao Paulo is to expand the online ordering platform in the form of a phone application, in which customers can easily search for products to put together their shopping list and pick it up at the store of their preference. Within the Emporium app, it will be able to track consumer preferences and send special offers and discounts. The application will serve as a database with every regular Emporium visitor and supermarket member. What is central for this mobile application is the personalization. Customer directed marketing can be applied with suggested purchases by using the acquired data on previous purchases and interests. The effect of this implementation is that customer loyalty will be increased. Through specifically organized offers for every single customer and using data analysis of purchases, Emporium will be able to stand out between the competition and in the long term also improve their inventory management and efficiency.